Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to do a review of the filamentum extra fill nylon. It's a natural color nylon from filamentum. So let's have a look after the intro. So first I want to state that I bought this filament with my own funds. I was not contacted by filamentum in regard of this video. It's just my thoughts on the filament that I purchased without out of the way. I want to show you some prints and, and my thoughts on the filament. It comes in a one kilogram spool in the, in the resealable bag and with desiccant. And it's important for nylon to, to have a resealable bag and, and desiccant. And here's the spool, it's the standard filamentum spools and comes in a like a clear plastic with a filament in. So that's pretty standard for filamentum. And here's the normal filamentum box. <laughs> Cats wants to have the box as <laughs> normally normal. But I want to show you some of the prints I did. So for, for a nylon filament it's pretty standard to have quite a lot of stringing for retractions. And this is no exception. Uh, I printed this retraction test just to see how bad it was, and it was uh, pretty, pretty normal, I think, for a <laughs> for a nylon. It's not too bad and not too great either. It, uh, I saw here the layer adhesion was not very, very good though, and I was having the fan on for this test, and you could see I can easily take away the, the part. Um, I printed several items first with a with a fan on. I was not having a good profile at the moment, at the time. But layer adhesion with the fan on was pretty pretty bad. <laughs> and, and then I saw in the in the profile uh, the fan was going full speed. So I changed that and and printed another bench. And this one is is much stronger. It's pretty pretty solid. And probably. Yeah, I find some cracks, but here in the in the top part, because of no part cooling, the, the chimney here was melting away a little bit. Um, like in in this one, I slowed down the print in the topmost part, um, since there are no part cooling uh, involved. You have to slow down if you have very small parts. But this benchy here is is quite strong. I can't can't break the, the bensi. <laughs> so this is uh, probably a setting that is uh, going to work quite well with no fan on. So, But otherwise the bensi was looking pretty great. There was a small burnt filament strand here, but that's not a problem of the filament, just something that came off the hot end. But other than that, the overhangs here are pretty good and the bensi is looking pretty decent. Uh, as you can see there's some stringing though, but nothing that's not uh, easily been cleaned up. Um, did some overhang tests as well. Um, here with a with a fan on. <laughs> this one <laughs> is quite brittle. <laughs> but, uh, but those, uh, I can't remember the, but, but the other one with a with the fan turned off, came out uh, decent though. There was a little bit of uh, like blobs in the in the end here, but as it is a nylon filament, it's it's stringy. So I think I printed two side by side, and there were strings between the two. But uh, overhang performance was pretty pretty good, I would say. I printed this test with all the fine details and. That one didn't come out very nice. <laughs> uh, a lot of stringing and and, and the small parts uh, were, were not very very clean. <laughs> and it's difficult to print very fine detail with a nylon filament. I think here on the bridging test, it's uh, somewhat okay. In the longest span, there are some strands drooping, but I had a somewhat warping <laughs> issue. And the beta tissue issue more. <laughs> um, I got this warping in this part, so this got loose of the bed. So maybe you have to be careful with beta tissue. And I was using glue stick on my PI sheet. On a PI sheet directly, I printed, uh, printed just to test on a very clean PI sheet. 
and this just curled up and in the end I used the Gecko Tech sticker, uh, bought a sticker to put on the Prusa flex plate. Um, got this from Gecko Tech and this is a good surface for nylon but PI sheet with glue stick is also working okay if you have good enough uh, surface area. Um, here's one test I decided to print just laying down on the bed just to see how, how flexible and you can bend this back and forth and it's quite quite tough filament it doesn't break very easily uh, maybe only only thing that I was finding out was uh, in regard of strength I was not getting very good layer adhesion maybe but strength along the layers is pretty good I can bend this back and forth and it doesn't doesn't show any fatigue <laughs> so this is pretty tough uh, I printed this uh, serial layers a lot uh, this one is rock solid this is a very strong part and a little bit of stringing and as before but nothing too serious uh, this was giving me a very very strong print I can break this in anyway <laughs> I then printed a big version of the Mr. Belly just to see how it comes out. And here I was not getting excellent layer adhesion, even though the fan was off. It's uh, not so difficult to break break the legs off, <laughs> but even though it's a, a bigger model, so maybe layer adhesion is is something. Uh, that could be better for this filament or maybe I'm doing something wrong in the settings but Then decided to try out this waste mode print and it came out pretty good But I had some warping in the in the print afterwards while it was cooling down This is not uh, the exact shape of the model. It was more more or less concaved in some parts um, But it's pretty strong even though it's a waste mode it holds up pretty well and finally i printed a big christmas tree from an angus angus model from makers muse he made this uh, model uh, and as you can see there's some stringing but this model is is pretty tough I can, uh, <laughs> uh, it's difficult to to break so this one has a pretty good strength and i'm trying to twist it and it's pretty pretty solid so the nylon gives uh, its flexes quite some and, and has pretty good strength i was able to, to break it finally <laughs> i've been banging on it and throwing it throwing it on the floor and seeing how it bounces off <laughs> so this was quite quite strong so you definitely can get strong prints with this material and, and uh, it's a good good option so those were the prints i did with the nylon extra fill filament from filamentum i was quite happy with the strength of this nylon i, I was uh, in the beginning having struggled with layer adhesion until i found out that part cooling was not a very good option <laughs> so I, after i turned part cooling off i was getting really strong models and, and even though i get quite a lot of stringing i think that's pretty normal for a for a nylon filament so it's nothing that cannot be cleaned up but that's something that you have to take into account and i was getting some some uh, blobs also on the, some of the prints but nothing that i couldn't clean up so overall i was quite happy with this filament uh, layer adhesion is maybe the only weak point i was getting and maybe i was printing at the incorrect temperature or or printing small smaller models but as you could see in the like in the serial layers a lot this model is super strong and the Benzie also is super strong and I was getting really really good uh, strong parts uh, I've been trying to <laughs> break this Benzie and I'm unable to to break it so I haven't take, taken a hammer to it if you print at a slower speed with the fine details you can get a good looking part also and um, just have to clean up the strings but uh, other than that, I was quite happy with the filament. This is a not natural clear color. There's no no color. I, I haven't uh, looked if you can get this nylon in different colors for filament them. Um, I don't have a link or anything <laughs> like that. It just uh, you can buy filament in, on several places. But uh, for this video, this will be it. I was uh, happy to do this test and I'll let you know my thoughts on this filament. So if you like this video, please. Give it a thumbs up and, and share and, and subscribe 
to my channel and I also have a Patreon account if you want to support the channel. But for now, this will be it and I thank you for watching and see you in the next one.